Hello everyone, I'm back here again with another toy review on the Demonico Fit Special Force Captain Ginyu figure. This figure looks amazing, but I do not think that this is worth its price point because there is some major issues with this figure and I will get into that. You guys have to stay throughout this whole video to find out what gripes do I have, but I think that this figure is only worth $20 at the most just because of the gripes that we have with this figure. So what we're gonna do is take this figure off the stand, take a good look at the box, then take a good look at accessories, then take a good look at this figure. Take a look at the box. This box is uh, surprisingly very big, because um, Ginyu is a big character. But it does look like the SH Figure Arts uh, box, exactly. So you got him in the front, the monocle fit over here. My box came uh, decently squashed. Uh, because they did not put it in a box, they actually put it in a package. I had this shipped to me, DHL, expedited shipping, which was only 25 bucks, which I got this figure in three, less than three days. So very cool. Captain Ginny over here. Got some poses you can get them into. And just to show you that this is a bootleg, and let's get into the accessories. Accessory wise, we have a good load of them. We have a stern Ginyu face with the scouter. We have a smiling scouter face. We have a yelling scouter face and then a smiling non-scouter and a yelling non-scouter. And then you have the judo chop hands, the finger pointing hands, open blast key hands and fists. So this is a good amount of accessories to have with this guy. All right, so before we get into this figure, we'll do a quick size comparison. He is quite a large figure, uh, but he is just a tad bit taller than Nappa. Nappa's still thicker though. And then let's get Goku in the mix. So here he is against Goku. And then um, against my custom Final Form Cooler. So I mean, the scale is all right. Ginyu is actually taller than Cooler and a tad bit taller than uh, Nappa. So just to get that out of the way, there is your size comparison. Now, before I get into my gripes, we'll take a good look at him. He actually looks very good. Uh, sculpt work on the face is very clean throughout almost all of them, um, which I do like. Um, he's frowning on this one. Let's have him smiling. So all the faces are sculpted very good. No complaints about that. And then the decal on his chest that is done clean. Paint job throughout this guy is done very clean. So that's that. Now getting into my gripes, I'll just move along. Articulation, he's able to look up very good. He is able to look down um, about that much. For some reason, the neck joint is not moving. I don't know if that's just mine, but I have tried with all my force, and yeah, the, there is, the neck joint does not move at all. Uh, he has shoulder pads that lift up, so it allows his arm to go up that high. Uh, it can swivel uh, just front like that, and then back like that. Um, yeah it's a little loose in the shoulder area he has a bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows his wrist hinge and a swivel his ab crunch is really good goes down but it leaves that gaping ugly back um other gripe major gripe here these flaps keep popping off especially when i'm trying to get him into his poses they pop off very very easy so it is so freaking annoying. I mean, it's easy to pop back on, but over time, I feel like I'm going to break it. So the flaps keep coming off easily. He twists left to right. Now, when I first got this figure out of the box, his legs were very stiff, which is great. But once I got him into that gay pose, his leg, well, when you kick his leg up like that, it's fine. But it is so freaking loose. Look at that. After playing with him, his legs became so loose and it's so hard to get him in a bend over pose because the legs just want to give out majority of the time. 
So that is very, very annoying. Um, he can only open his legs about that wide. And I tried, I popped it off and I tried doing, giving him more maximum, but that's as wide as you're going to get. His thigh swivels are very, very tight, so be careful. I suggest heating it up, if anything. But that, it's very tight. Mine's is loosening up. This side is still tight. I don't want to break the figure, so yeah. I'm going to have to apply some heat later on. Just the thigh swivel is very, very hard. Um, but you can see how loose this leg is. But when it, oh, this side sucks. Like, it doesn't even want to stay up. Yeah, it just wants to keep coming. This side is very, very loose. Holy crap. This side, not too bad. This side, oh my gosh. It's just, it, yeah, it just does not want to stay up. Freaking annoying. Um, he has double jointed knees, which is very tight. And then he has uh, a little hinge and a swivel. And then he has a toe hinge right there. And the bottoms is not smoothing out exactly. They're kind of, you can tell they was molded. So the bottoms kind of suck there. Um, and his ankles are fairly loose. So it's kind of hard to get him into any dynamic pose without having him propped up. So let's try to do the pose that he does with Goku. Um, it's been a while since I watched the show, so... I can be completely wrong on how I'm trying to do his pose. But yeah, because his leg is so freaking loose, I can't even stand him up on one leg. Like that. I mean, come on, man. Spend 55 bucks on this guy just to get a loose-ass leg. Yeah, it's not, not going to work. Here. Let's try the other leg. Uh, yeah, and there you go. Flap just popped off. Uh, freaking retard. Yeah, not going to work because his ankle is too damn loose. Yeah, that is so gay. Anyways, uh, yeah, his figure is not the best. Um, he's supposed to be meant to pose around because he is a character that loves to pose. You can't really get him into any great poses because his legs are too damn loose. Okay, so with all that said, in the end, I was trying to get him into this pose, and these shield, these uh, armor parts on his shoulders pop off easily as well. I am just so annoyed with this figure. It has pissed me off tremendously. Even though he looks great, it's just, oh my gosh. He should not cost $55, the monocle fit. He should be just as much as buying uh, the tongue or any type of bootleg within the $20 range. It's just, I'm very pissed off about how loose my figure is. And maybe that's just me. But I am not happy with my purchase. Um, yeah. Because $55 plus $25 for expedited shipping is a lot. Um, accessories and how he looks, I have no complaints about whatsoever. It's just he is extremely and annoyingly loose as hell. So with that said, if you guys have any other questions, comment below in the box. If you haven't had time, check out our website. It is frankinculture.com. You can also find me on Twitter, 63kennyboy. And also, don't forget to check out our Franken Culture on Instagram for I'm always posting stuff early there. So check that out and follow us. And if you haven't, had, if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel yet, I suggest you do for I'm always posting up cool content like these. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.